Well, I'm working on this. And uh, I don't have a name for her, but she's going to be wearing this little top hat with a spider. And she has a black short little wig that I'm going to put on her. Hi, Nina. Thanks for joining me tonight. Um, and I wanted to show this guy back here. Didn't turn out the way I really wanted it to, but it kind of reminds me of like those vintage old Halloween thingies. But um, if you were on some of my lives recently, I was showing that I was going to make this and I did a really awesome, I sculpted this and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Um, so yeah, a little freaky looking, but <laughs> he's in my shop if you're interested. I just named him Pumpkin Face. <laughs> I was going for the look of this one, but I couldn't get it. So I ended up with like a vintage look. Hi, D from Austin, Texas. Wow, you're up late. I'm in California, so you're... Are you like 11 or 12? Pretty late, huh? But it is Saturday night. <laughs> So I went ahead and you know these spiders you can get, you can pick them up at Michael's or any of the craft stores right now or Spirit. They're just glittered plain. So I decided to paint one to go on her neck. I painted the little butt part with black stripes to match her lips and the spider on here. So she's going to have that. What sculpture clay do you use? I use, um, whoa, 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 I almost fell. I use creative paper clay. It's an air dry clay. Way easier for me to work with. Um, let's see. Just finished making a wreath. Ah, what kind of wreath did you make, Dee? I'm going to start working on him while you... I wait for you to answer. I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and I'm going to go right under her eyeball. Cardinal cross wreath. Oh, sounds like it's beautiful. I love cardinals. Okay, so um, made her eyes kind of a hazel color. Thought I'd do a little different some of my gloss drip there so I think I'm going to do a spider web on this side of the eye to kind of hide that but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the eyeshadow on the other eye so I'm using an angled brush and what I do is I take the color, which I'm using um, Canyon Orange for her eyeshadow, and white. So let me move this forward so you can see what I do. I think this is a half inch brush, I think. Yeah, it's a half inch brush, half inch, half inch angled brush. And so I want the darker orange closer to the eye. So on the pointy part, I'm going to put my orange and then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to use my white. And then I'm just going to go back and forth and load my brush. Back and forth. Get it nice and full.
and it usually well it usually builds up on the edges so I just kind of tap it are you using a stiff eyeshadow brush for shading yes absolutely my preference for all of the shading underneath or like doing you know any of this stuff over here is my shorts it's very uh, firm it's not floppy floppy won't work for you and um, it's best if it's short you have a lot more control getting it on there then if you want to um, you know fluff it out a little further then I use a little fluffier but my favorite too this is um, a round blender size 6 and it works really good love that for blending as well with shadow I don't use it for my paint all right, so when I do this eye, I turn her upside down. The other eye, I don't do that until I'm going the other direction. Anyway, so I'll start here. I'm going to go right under the eyebrow. If I go into the eyebrow, I'm not worried about it. I'll fix it later. And I flip her around and just flat on there. Oh, I don't want that ridge. So I just come back, try to get rid of ridges, they ruin everything. <laughs> get some more. It's just a really simple way to do a blend. Um, if you have trouble, you could always use some blending gel. I use the Folk Art blending gel. Um, but I, I don't do it when I'm using my angled brush. Um, if I'm brushing it on there, then I'll use it. Okay, and then I'm going to come down close to the eye line. Same thing. This is when I can tell, too, if my eyes are not even um, because of the distance between the brow and the eye line. This is where I find out. And then I end up having to correct it. So, so I just kind of blend it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just a, a nice blend, you know. So I think it's close enough. Now I'm going to go back to my black. Yvette, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. I haven't seen you on a live in forever. Hey, Lourdes, thanks for popping in. Where do you purchase your brushes from? Um, I get mine at Michael's. And I usually, if most Michael's are the same. So if you go into where they have all the paints, you'll have all your budget brushes and stuff like that, which is fine. A multi-pack will do whatever you, you know, you don't have to have fancy brushes. A multi-pack will work just fine. Hey, Sheena, thanks for coming in. Um, but I do like to go walk where they have the, uh, canvases and stuff. Um, I do prefer getting a little better quality liners because I go through them like crazy. Oh my gosh, I love the pumpkin head in the background. Yes, you can see him. I did this tutorial for my group and I, what I love about him is I sculpted, I sculpted the stem. And look at that. It looks so freaking real. It actually looks like wood. I didn't get the look I wanted, but when I was done with him, I'm like, hey, he reminds me of those like vintage Halloween pumpkins. But he's in my shop if anybody's interested. Creepyholidaystuff.com. I have uh, quite a few pumpkin heads, different kinds in there and Halloween heads. Um, they carry the shading brushes too. Yeah, you have to just look. Hey, CD. Thanks for popping in. It's awesome. I'm seeing people in here I haven't seen for a while. That's cool. Um, yeah, you have to just look. Sometimes uh, their, their stock is not very good. Um, Joann's too. Joann's, I'll do the same thing. I'll go and look in there. Um, and then, you know, you always have Amazon. Always have Amazon for liners and stuff. It just, I mostly work with liners and then the brown brush and stuff, so. 
I've even, I know it's crazy, but I've even bought a huge pack from Wish of just all liners. And I tell you, they work good for a couple of times. And they don't last very long, but you get a whole bunch and they're cheap. Um, trying to remember what color he is because, okay. This head, actually, the base coat for this head is bamboo. Which I'm going to need because I'm going to have to fix and round that up a little bit. But I can see just a slight difference. This this eye is bigger than that. Our eyebrow is higher. And that happens every so often. And if you're making heads, just try to tell yourself, it's okay. If you look in the mirror, I grant you, unless you got your eyebrows tattooed, you're going to have one that's probably taller, higher up than the other, right? Hey, Denise. Did you finish working on your head? I have a pic of a head I want you to paint for me. I'll message you. Send me in a message. Yeah. Let me see what it is. Hopefully it's not super hardy bit. Hopefully not super hard. Denise, I gave in. I'm showing the pumpkin. I didn't post it on my page, but I put it in my shop. I did a live in my group and I was like, oh my God. And because this was just like a bonus tutorial because I do tutorials every weekend for them, but this was an extra one. And uh, I went live saying, Ugh, not super happy with it. Sorry. But you know, sometimes they don't all turn out great. But the more I look at it, the more I'm kind of digging it, you know? Okay. I'm just trying to straighten this out because I have a difference in thickness and height. So just trying to get it as close as possible. Awesome. I have used makeup, eyebrow, brush. We are stiff. If I'm going to throw it up against the <laughs> Denise, you're going to throw it up against the wall. I, I have to tell you, I know exactly how you feel. I wanted to grab him by the stem and just bang him on the table. <laughs> so I use makeup. Yeah, the the stiff ones are good, Nina. Unless you're trying to get, you know, a lot of airy and fluff it out, you can get a little softer. Oh, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it if you guys share. Um, you can do it. <clears throat> do you want to give me a hint what it is or you don't want me just to wait and see when you send it to me? A little bit more curved. All right, Tilbear, Tilbear, hush. Sounds like she's eating herself to death. Okay, yeah, send it. I'm curious. Okay. Um, give that a second to dry. Well, that's drying. I mentioned. Um, that a little bit of my when you go back out there can you tell Cody to remember to come did you tell him that his food was on the stove no he's in the restroom I can tell him oh can you let him know and then tell him I have his card here okay. um, as I mentioned I got some of my glazing on the eye there let me go closer let me go closer a little bit. Okay, it's a little closer. Anyway, you could see it right there. So I can paint over it and cover it, but I decided, you know what? I think I'm going to do a spider web because the theme of this head, you know, is there's spiders. So, oh shoot, I thought I had that. Dang it. Just draw a quick spider web. So I'm just going to come right off the corner of the eye and I want to make sure I get that in there. So it's going to be a little more inward. 
So her her wing is here, so I'm going to bring it the wing up. Then I'm going to bring another line. Another line. Another line. Oh, I made these not the right distance, but it's okay. It's all perfect. And then I'll bring that one. So, we'll see how that looks. Alright, so I'm going to do a curve there, a curve there, a curve here, curve here, curve there. I like deep curves. Makes it look more spidery. Let's do another one there, another one there. And I really like the the point. Then another one here. Very simple little spider web. I'll show you that I don't. I'll show you that. That's funny. Okay. Do this quick spider web. Actually, hold on, I want this to go in the right pattern so things dry properly and all that jazz. So let me do a quick highlight on this other eyeball. So I'm just gonna do a little curve actually and then a little dot. A few little more highlights for like the sun's coming in that direction. Just super simple, nothing fancy. And I don't want it bright white. Okay, so while that's dry drying, now I'll do the spider web. Remember, I'm your best customer. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. It makes it easier when there's not accessories um, for pricing. And then if there's not, you know, a lot of detail. Did you see, Denise? Um, I mean, I'm sorry, um, Yvette. Did you see my skeleton bride that I posted today? She has rhinestones full of bling. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you. Can't wait to get her wig on her. It'll be done quickly here. I tried to get some done because I hadn't felt too good today. So I've been doing a little at a time. And uh, I figured, well, it's going to be late. So I don't want to have a whole bunch to do on the head. Because I know some parts get kind of boring <laughs> for people to watch. So You'll get to see her come together. And then she will be available in my shop. I just got to price her for anybody interested. I'm going to let that wing just like connect to the spider web. Yes. Oh, you saw it. Awesome. Skeleton eyes. Thank you, Dee. I really love that one. And um, I, I want to do more. And I want to do... Um, because I'm going to be starting my Christmas heads. I'm going to be doing some elves and stuff. And uh, I like to do some of the mystical, you know, like the Snow Queen and all that kind of jazz. And I thought I really want to do some more of those rhinestoned um, skull looking ones. But because I am creepy holiday stuff. I love to do fun, pretty things also. But I like to throw in a couple of heads that are still creepy even though it's Christmas. So it'll be seasonal Christmas style but maybe it'll be like a skeleton a skeleton um, elf you know something I don't know something crazy just so I can use some more rhinestones and maybe uh, use holiday color rhinestones something I'll figure it out but I do know somebody wanted that head um, but she sold she sold right away, so I will, uh, so I don't know, I'll see if I can fit in doing another one like that for her. Uh, 
uh, I halted my orders, Yvette, so I'm going to have to fit you in. I won't be able to get it done, like, super fast. Is that okay? Because I have to really start working on Christmas stuff. But I will do it. She'll just have to be fitted in. Okay. Let's do simple web. Hi, Georgie. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, cool event. If you don't hear from me tonight after the live, I will definitely message you in the morning. Thank you, Georgie. I've been showing him off because I didn't post him, but I did put him in my shop. I sculpted his um, stem up here and there he is he's kind of weird looking I keep saying I, I picture him more like a, the vintage style pumpkin Okay, good enough. That's what she's got going on there. So now that that eyeball is dry, I'm going to glaze it over really quick. And that dries super fast. Oh, I don't think Nina's still here. I was going to ask her a question. Use this one. Oh, I can't do it yet. Forgot to put my shadow. One second. Dang it. Got to shadow my eyeball. Okay. Gives it a more realistic look. But it can ruin the whole thing with liquid brush on a glaze. So you gotta be very careful. Okay. So I just tap. I got a lot of eyeshadow going on there. Mirrors. Then I just kind of wipe that bottom because it will look ugly. It'll just totally mess up. It'll drip onto your eyeshadow. Ruin it. So don't overdo it. Because if it drips, it'll look terrible. I'm going to go ahead and glaze up this eyebrow. I'm going to spray her, but I like to do this anyway for looks just to get a nice nice glaze on her whoa got too much ink there I still gotta fix that though 
but I can still glaze over it and fix it later. Okay. Well, I am giving that a second to dry. I'm just gonna do a real quick very slight correction there that's all I love these colors love the colors okay now I'm gonna get my tacky glue I'm gonna use my fast grab tacky glue out a lash using these guys do you have any of your first painted heads to compare to your heads now just curious but your style hasn't changed it hasn't changed but it's definitely got better <laughs> when I look at some of my old heads I'm like ew how embarrassing why would I even show those <laughs> I'm referring mostly to the eyes I got a pretty good grip on the eyes at first I had trouble because I was strictly a cartoon cartoon um, eyes and stuff and I was encouraged by a group I think it was even Denise actually you can do it you can do it I said no I can't I can't do realistic eyes I never do them never do them she goes just do it just try and It was rough at first, and then it just kind of came nice, nicely. And I'm like, hey, I like this. And it, let, it made it more open so that I don't have to just do cartoons, you know. So, whoa, that was kind of fun. And my group um, kind of learned together getting these eyes down, you know. The ones that have been there with their, you know, there's, there's a handful that's been there with me since the beginning. I think it's going on three, three years. I think it was all of us telling you. Yeah, I just, I remember, and I, I'm so glad they did, you know, because I honestly would have never tried it. I've always draw, would draw and paint, but always cartoons, and all because of, you know, my group. And uh, these ladies that have been with me for so long, they've really encouraged me and they inspired me big time. I owe a lot of what I have created to them because um, they're awesome. That's why I love the group so much. Okay, so... Keep getting these weird spam texts. It's crazy. Oh wait, somebody. Okay. Anyway, um, <sighs> if anybody would like to have um, text message alerts for when I go live, 
just go to your phone, text the word creepy to the number 74121. It's not a phone number, it's a code, but you put it up there where you normally would put a phone number. Just type in 74121 and then in the body of your little text message type creepy. And then you should get a response telling you that you have opted in to get notified when I go live. Um, you could always uh, type stop to get out of it if you don't want to do it anymore. And just so you know, um, I'm on the West Coast, so I don't send notifications out past 8 p.m. Just like tonight, I didn't send them out because I didn't, you know, I don't want to wake anybody up that might have to go to work that lives on the East Coast or something. So anyway, there you go. I remember when you started the group. I live above my means, so I couldn't join. <laughs> Yeah, it was, you know, I was so scared to start the group. I was. I was like, I don't know. Why would anybody be interested in what I'm doing? You know, anyway, it was a lot of uh, thought about it a lot. And I ended up doing it. And I'm happy I did because um, I love sharing. I'm trying to find the wig while I talk to you. I love sharing what I'm, you know, what I do. And I've met some great people. I've met some great people having that group. And also, you know, it's nice too because, for example, like this pumpkin, you know, I didn't post him on my public page, but I went live in my group. And I was able to talk to, the, you know, like Denise. Denise was there and we chatted and I'm like, oh my God, you know, I just, this is, I'm not sure. What do you think? And so makes it nice. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm even doing because I know it's probably stupid that you can't see what I'm doing here. Let's do this. Down a little bit. There she is. Um, I didn't do any nose shading. No. Well, God almighty. Any blush. Just kind of Actually, hold on. Well, let me, no, just hold on. Let me do a tad bit of shading for the web so it doesn't look just so naked. So I'm going to take my black eyeshadow and I'm just going to go around to give it some depth. Ah, uh, thank you, Denise. Thank you. Let's get a little step. I just got to be careful touching her until I get her sprayed, but I'm not going to spray her until tomorrow. And then I'll post her in my shop and then post her on my page. Too late tonight. Make sure you blow the fallout. It'll just get all over your head. Mess up your head. See how it adds some depth to it? Makes it look, you know, not just so plain. Okay, maybe just a little ding, 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 ding right there. Uh, we'll go right here too. And right here. Let's check my pinky. Okay. Now before I put her wig on, I'm going to plug in my glue gun really quick. So just this little short cute wig, which needs to be combed. I didn't bring the comb over here. Keep my eye on this lash, you got to be careful because they will slide. Is that pumpkin you did next to the pumpkin head? Yes. 
this pumpkin I did. I still got to put it in my shop. I haven't put it in my shop. This is uh, inspiration by Rucka Studio. Uh, one of my group members uh, requested that I make one on a styrofoam head. Well, asked if it could be done. So I did it first on this little pumpkin. And oh my God, I love it. Added a little stuff on here, you know, to match. And it turned out gorgeous. So I'm like, okay, so now I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys on the styrofoam head. And it turned out to be a whole different other thing. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like this guy. It was supposed to look like that guy, but it didn't work out. Um, the main problem was I used a burnt orange, a beautiful deep burnt orange. And the colors just didn't go. And so I tried gray because gray is part of a color theme for burnt orange. And it still looked like, whoa. And uh, anyway, that's what I ended up with. But definitely, definitely I get that vintage, vintage feel. But I love this. It makes me want to make more. Okay, here she is. Her hair is going to be a bit messy. But don't forget, this isn't the final, you know, I got to do spraying. I got to fix her hair. She reminds me of, what's her name, Delia from Beetlejuice with a little short hairdo. You know, and I got to trim any of these little flyaways. Um, I don't know. Figure something out there. And I'm thinking about doing a black felt. Um, I got to zoom out more now because you just can't see me. Thinking about doing a black <coughs> felt collar. Shoot, I think I'm zoomed out. Let me go back a little bit. Now you get to see all my mess here. Okay. Lydia. Why did I say Delia? Oh my gosh. Hi, Tanya. So glad you popped in. Um, she definitely needs her hair brush and all that jazz but hold on because I want to do before I put the spider and the spider I painted painted his rear to match this guy up here but I think I want to do the collar first hold on hold on if I have enough black to do it I think so. Two. Why do I have that? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, her name is Lydia. I can't believe that uh couldn't remember that. I just need a second here to Okay. That has to be pinned on with florals. Of this piece, I just, girl, I just can't watch you anymore because I want everything. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good though. You have bought so many, so many awesome stuff though. You have. I really appreciate your business. Honestly, you know, I don't measure. I just kind of do by eyeball and However, when I do my nuns, I actually do have to measure doing it cuz that's a little the habit that you put on, you know, that's a little tricky. So I do have to admit I do have to measure for that. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. I will have to paint my pins, but for now, I'm just going to pin it. Mm. I think I love her. Um, let me go, let me go like that. I don't want a really high collar because she's got she's got hair and and again, this is just for you guys to see right now because. Tomorrow, I'm going to take her out and spray her. And, uh, well, don't want to pin on the floor, ding it. Oh, I know, there it is. Don't want to pin. All right. Anyway, I have to spray her, I have to brush her hair. Actually, I'm going to turn off my glue gun because you know why? I don't want to put that permanently put that on there right now. So here it is. Um, I think I'm just going to do a collar spider, you know. Actually, you know what? Shh. I can because I'll just glue it onto the, to the collar. I'm going to glue it onto the collar. And then when I remove the collar, it will still be there. I like that. Let me just hold this for a second and then I'll try to give you a better look at her. Let me go down a little bit if I can. There it is. Thank you. Just came on another video. Ah, thank you, Irene. I don't have a name for her. I gotta think of a name. Um, but the only difference you're going to see in her tomorrow is she's going to be sprayed and I'll brush this hair out and then I'm going to put um, up high I'm going to leave the band actually let me measure her I actually ordered a new pound I have always three years now I've used uh, 12 inch boxes but man, some of the things like that pumpkin back there, the sculpting I did, it's a hair over 12 inches. So I ordered uh, 50 boxes of 14 inch. Okay, so this actually is 16. So what I will do is this actually, oh, and they're 10 inches too. I've always had 9 by 9 by 12. I got 10 by 10 by 14. And, uh, ooh. It does add like, you know, a dollar, two dollars to the shipping, but hey, it's worth it because I can get more in it. Um, I hate having to ship two boxes. But anyway, when the boxes arrive, I should have a Monday, um, which is my shipping day. I'm going to be shipping Monday. I'm going to see if I can put this all, everything in one box. And I'll include floral pins for the person to attach up here for anybody interested. Um, and then for some reason, if it doesn't fit, then I will have to ship in a separate box. But anyway, there she is. Uh, thank you all so much. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, let's see if I can get like closer for you guys to see it. When I look at the computer, it just seems so far away. And the closer I get, you really can't see. Let me try doing it this way. With the controls. Okay, so there's her, her face. Her eyebrows aren't like super straight, but you know, they're like ours. Ours aren't perfect, right? And then we go up for you to see her hat. There it is. So I'll think of a name for her and tomorrow she'll be all done and posted in my shop. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Denise. 
All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Thank you all who shared. And anybody interested in this guy back here, he's in my shop, creepyholidaystuff.com. And this one, the little baby pumpkin there, I haven't gotten in my shop yet, but I will. So thank you. Have a wonderful night. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.